good afternoon. Well, if you're not East Coast, still good morning. I just finished eating a salad and I'm not actually finished eating. So if there's stuff in my teeth, please forgive me. Anyhow, I'm Christine Ruiz. For those who don't know me, for those who do know me, hi. Um, actually, for everyone, hi. But yes, I'm Christine Ruiz of ChristineDeco.com. Um, and today, uh, I actually, I don't know, for those of you, hi Rhonda, for those of you who saw, I earlier just put a, a Facebook status. Hi Mike, hi Maya, I had earlier, Lord, you see this? He's gonna throw stuff. Give, give me this. We were eating salad. Dane actually eats salad, and usually he eats it today, he ate some of it and mashed the rest of it. But anyhow, um... Yeah, so I had a client uh, coaching session today, scheduled for 10, literally got in the house like right on time with a few minutes to spare, walked in the door, and our new dog, can you stop? He won't stop. Our new dog, hi Jay, how are you doing? Um, our new dog, Lila, she's really sweet. She, I guess, couldn't wait for me to get home in time, and so she had poop and pee, so there was an accident, so... I just thought that was, okay, I'll take that. I just thought that was, that's when you run a business from home, that's the real deal. So that's how my morning has been. I cleaned up pee and poop from the animal, not from Dane today. Well, I've changed Dane's diaper, but that's different. Um, but anyhow, when I was talking to my client, she's amazing. Um, I, honestly, that's where I got my theme for today. Oh my goodness, hold on. You guys, if you see Head Turner, that is my great aunt and my great uncle. Technically, my great aunt and my great great uncle. Uh, I can't believe you guys are watching. Hi, Aunt Todd. Hi, Uncle Buddy. Dane, stop kicking. Okay, I'm going to let Dane out, and hopefully, this is not go haywire. But anyhow, I was talking with my client. Super awesome. She used to be a pharmaceuticals rep. She decided in January, last January, to leave her job. She is now entering this home-based business industry and she's brilliant but she has so many questions and she's said it herself she tends to get in her own way um sort of that where you want everything to be perfect and so you take no action because you're trying to perfect everything so you end up doing nothing um and we were talking about a bunch of things i was showing her some things on the computer and the topic came up it sort of came up the first time we talked but today was our second meeting our longer meeting and the topic of I'm trying to figure out my brand came up. And so I figured it would be good to talk about this with you guys, um, mainly because, well, I'm gonna go over three points. But today, if you get nothing else, I want you guys to be able to figure out what your brand is. And I say that because if you guys follow me or watch my videos often, you already know I'm always saying brand yourself. If you are in a home-based business, if you're in business for yourself, you're a network marketer, if you're in an MLM, any of those things, the companies are going to tell you, oh, copy the right cat, post what we post, just post these graphics, post this image, post the sales, post before and afters. They're going to tell you those things. And it's not to say they're bad, but think about it. If I'm a company and I don't have the overhead and the advertisements, Dane, what did you do? Y'all hold on real quick. Just the typical knocking stuff over that kids do. Hey, Ashley. Um, but anyhow, if you ever join this industry, they're going to tell you to do that because it allows them to get more publicity, more uh, online presence if all these different consultants are blasting the brand all day, all night. And it's not to say that anything, that's a joke. It's not to say that anything, if you do it or you've done it, don't feel bad. We've all done it. When I first got into this industry, I was posting before and afters. But the funny thing is, to me, it didn't feel right. It felt icky. I can't think of another word. It felt, it felt canned. It just didn't feel like me. Um, and I, and the funny thing is, I didn't do it well. Um, I only would really post before and afters if they were me or someone in my family or a close friend because I felt like at least I share about my family and friends anyway. So this is true to me. And I say everyone's different. There are some people that are great salesmen, people that are great. Um, prospectors, people who just love to call, people they know and random strangers and say, buy this and it's the best thing in the world. But then there are people like me, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, who you want to 
conduct business in a way that feels natural to you. And you actually don't like prospecting. You don't like calling and asking strangers. You don't like bugging your friends and family, right? You don't want to sit there, hire a leader, and have to ask them, oh, can you try this product? Or look at this is the next best thing. Like you don't want to have to chase people. You want to attract people. And so we talk about, I talk about this often, um, and a lot of other people do, is branding yourself. And the reason why we say brand yourself is because when you brand yourself, you then can attract people to you who are then going to ask you questions and then you can, and they're going to ask you about your business. And from there, you can talk about it in a way that's comfortable and natural and doesn't feel like you're trying to be pitchy or sell, but that you're just truly having a conversation and helping them with a question they ask, helping them good afternoon with a problem that they have, helping them solve something. So that's what this all comes from. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my story. I, I did get into this industry and I just was like, this is not feel good. You may or may not be interested. Jay, that's the line I hit you with. You may or may not be interested. This may or may not be for you. And I have used it. Um, I was in network marketing years ago, then got out of it, had a lot of life changes and came back into it and was doing more of the same. And then I was like, I gotta do different. So let me get to the point. So I'm gonna try to keep this live no more than 15 minutes. We're already six minutes in. So I have what? Who does the quick math? What's the quick math? What, what I got, like nine minutes left? Okay. So getting to it. Simple steps to figure out your brand since everyone is telling you to brand yourself, including me, because I'm going to tell you to brand yourself. Number one, literally, this might sound simple and silly, but write out a list of your past jobs or positions you have had. Like every job, every position you ever had. Literally write it out so you can look at it. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, so y'all got that? Write out a list of your past jobs and positions. Everyone you've ever had, even if it was minute, even if you worked it for like a week, just write them out. Um, and I'm going to get back to why. Number two, write down your current situation. Are you still working full-time? Are you working part-time? Are you recently been laid off? Did you quit your job? Did you lose your job? Are you staying at home because you just had a baby? Literally. There's some lettuce in my teeth. Write down your current situation. And then number three, um, actually this is number three, it's kind of weird. I probably need to break it down more. Um, and then the last thing you do, once you're looking at the positions you've had and the experience you have and the knowledge you have, and you have your list of, and you write down your current situation, when you look at that, start writing down sentences that pair the two, right? Um, if you've had a ton of different jobs, um, that could be your thing. You've had a ton of different jobs. You never could really figure out the industry for you. You decided somehow to get in network marketing. And now that you're here and you want to help other people or bring other people along in your journey, that could be your rant. Um, for me, I worked, I got my degree in marketing. So I have a marketing degree. I worked in marketing. I was either in food and beverage or nonprofits, a weird thing, but I do love to eat, so the food makes sense. And I like to help people. Thank you, Rolita. Yes, number one, write down a list of all the jobs or positions you had. And number two is write down your current situation. Because when you have the jobs you've had and your experience, and you pair that with your current situation and you meld that, that is your brand. And that is how you brand you. And that brings you to number three, where you come up and just list out several sentences explaining that. And you're going to do a sentence, and then you're going to keep rewriting it until it comes down to sort of a tagline or a slogan. Nothing pitchy, but just so that you can, in your mind, figure out your brand. Um, thank you for writing these notes for me, Rolita, because you know I'd be coming off of the fly. And then I, I, I had my topic, and then I was like, let me write down something real quick. So I didn't have time to put it in the comments but if anyone if you guys are here let me know don't drop ones and stuff in emojis actually let me know does this make sense to you like the breakdown i really try to make this very simple so let me know in the comments does this make sense the breakdown do you see it or do i need to explain further um it could be that i'm a marketing person so in my mind it was like ding 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 but if it's confusing to you guys let me know i see you dane it's okay just hold on Y'all hold on, I would let the gate down in case he decides to come back down. The gate now is for the dog. Come back down when you finish. 
the gate now is to keep the dog from going upstairs. Um, and I say that and I'm a, yes, okay, Jason, it makes sense. And I'll give you an example of why. I have always, like I said, worked in marketing. I've always helped people. I've always connected people. People would always come to me with a problem. And then I would say, well, so-and-so does this job. Or I know this website. Or I know this product. Or I know this place you can go, right? I worked in marketing. I always had a job. Sometimes I had multiple jobs. But for me, I always felt like I was supposed to be doing something different and something more. And I felt frustrated because I have my friends. I have exceptional friends. I have friends that one of my friends is like, you know, got to the senior position at her accounting firm, the first African-American woman to do so in Atlanta. Another one of my good friends actually is the executive director at the hospital that she had all three of her daughters at. Um, her husband's a doctor. I've got, you know, my, one of my friends is a photographer. Actually, a few of them are. But I have friends who have and are literally excelling in their careers. They have multiple degrees and doctorates and multiple, you know, all these different degrees. And I, for the longest, felt like I was a scrub because I never was excited about a job. I was never excited about working for a company. I just felt like I want to have a nice life where I could sort of have leisure. I wanted to make good income. But I didn't want to have to go somewhere every day or have to be someone every day, every day or have time restrictions or things like that, right? Um, so I always had that feeling in me. And then I kept trying to think, what's my brand and what's my business and what can I do? And, and it literally seemed so simple. But one day it came to me and I was like, my gift, my thing, my brand is helping other people. Because when it comes to me, even like colors and and I have a good friend who's actually helping me. I'm about to get a new logo soon and do a little bit of rebranding myself. But when it comes to my branding and my thing, it was very hard for me, right, to figure it out. But when someone else comes to me with their problem or their marketing issue or their business, I literally, it's like, um, what's that show, The Good Doctor, where he sees there's like a medical issue and he sees like it's like a hologram pops up in his head and he's like moving all these pieces and he's figuring out the solution. That's how I am when it comes to marketing. Um, someone will come to me and they feel like stressed out. and like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I'm like, girl or guy, you know, they'll come to me and they're like, Christine, um, I, have this, this, I have this product. I want to do this, but I don't know how to market it. I don't know how to package it. Or Christine, uh, whatever the issue is, they're always just coming to me. And, I'm, it, and it's as soon as they come to me with a problem, I'm able to easily figure it out figure out the solution, give them action steps, benchmarks, a guideline, even a daily method of operation, it, it flows to me. So for me, that's one of the practices I did. I literally was like, okay, what are all my positions? What's my degree? What's my background? What's my experience? Hi, Uche. And then I was like, what's my current situation? I have, a, at the time I was like, I have a newborn. This is the last of these four kids. I don't wanna have to put him in daycare. I don't want to have to get on the subway and the train and the bus to go to work. Um, I still want to be able to contribute to my family's income because I have an amazing husband who works very hard, but I want to be able to have my own money because I'm used to have my own money and I want to be able to contribute. And so I was like, this is my background, marketing. Hi, Sips. This is my current situation. I have his newborn who actually has a medical issue and does not take a bottle. So I have to nurse him, breastfeed him. Um, I can't even pump. I have to breastfeed him. He has to be with me. So what through my situation? So I'm going to work from home. I'm going to get in home-based business, right? That's my current situation. My background was marketing and helping people and being, being, being a resource and sharing resources. So when I combine those two, um, and I don't know for those of you who don't know my website, but it's Christine D. Co., so Christine D. C. O. Dot com. But as soon as you go on my webpage, what is it going to say? helping people build their business and their audience from home. Because that's my thing. That is my brand. I'm Christine. I work from home. My back, my life sometimes are crazy because my life is sometimes crazy. I got my two-year-old with me. I'm the PTA president in one school. I'm a PTA rep in another school. I have a busy life. I have a husband I love. And my thing is I'm not the only one who can do this. Other people can be at home and work around their life instead of dictating their life around the job and dictating their life around work. So that's how I came up with my brand. And so that's why I figured, you know what? I'm always helping anyway. So I wanted to help you guys with this. So um, 
Melita, thank you so much. And hi, Kendra. Thank you so much for writing that down. If you guys are just getting here, I'm about to get off in like a few seconds. But um, the simple ways, again, to come up with your brand, since everyone's saying brand yourself, write a list of your past positions and jobs. Everyone, no matter how short, write that down. Then write down your current situation. Just like a brief paragraph, write down your current situation and mer merge and marry those two together and start writing it as a sentence or as a paragraph. Write what you know, what your background is, what your current situation is. And that is how you create, and that's how you figure out what your brand is. Once you know what your brand is, you're able to brand yourself. I don't come to you guys every day trying to push my health and wellness company or my finance company or skincare or any of that on you. Or even, you know, I don't come pushing that. I come sharing my real life, what I'm doing, the resources that are helping me, how I, and how I can help you, and that's what I do. And what, it, what, what in turn happens is that the people who are for me, because everybody's not for me, I'm not for everybody. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. But the people who I appeal to and who feel like they can gel with me, they come to me and they reach out and then I'm able to help them. And I'm not always pushing a brand on them. I'm not. There's sometimes I direct them to a friend of mine who can help them better. But it's a whole different business when you are attracting, when you are a lighthouse, when you're standing still and you're attracting people to you and you're able to help them and they're telling you what they want as opposed to me going out and calling everyone and trying to force what I have on them. It works for some people, but if it does not work for you and this is a method that works, please definitely reach out. Um, if you see in the link, there's a system um, that I use and you can do a 10 day trial, it's 10 bucks. If you don't got 10 bucks, it ain't for you. But you can do a 10 day trial, the link is there if you wanna do it, try that. Or if you have questions, send me a direct message or you can check out my website, but I'm gonna get off. I wanna finish eating my salad because it's delicious and Dane is eating his and I'm still hungry. But I hope this is helpful. I don't know what we're gonna talk about tomorrow, but I talked to my mom, she's gonna be with me on Friday. So Friday, if nothing else, Friday at 12.30, me and my mom are gonna be on here. It's gonna be a great discussion because she's awesome. Um, Rolita said, great system for figuring out the brand. Thank you so much, Rolita, for helping and taking notes from me. I so appreciate you. You guys have a great day. I'm two minutes over because I talk a lot. My bad. Thank you, Jay. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.